time to wake up, Pamela. I have sickle cell anemia, which is one of the sickle cell disorders. Okay. Mm -hmm. The difficult thing to understand about my condition is the fact that there are no visible signs. So if I say I'm, I'm in pain, it's like, where? <laughs> It's, it's, I think sometimes when you don't see something, it's very difficult to believe it. And having a, a blood disorder, um, like my condition is, it's, it's so, you can't see anything because it's in the blood. And even when you are in a lot of pain, because there's nothing really visible, it's very hard for people to grasp. I think the most distinctive thing about my condition is the way it can be so unpredictable because I can wake up and feel great or I can wake up and not, I'm, not, I'm not really sure how my day is. I can wake up and feel really bad or I can go to bed feeling great and wake up feeling in a lot of pain. It's just very unpredictable. Sickle cell, it's genetic, so you can't catch it. <laughs> um, and I inherited it from both of my parents. My mum and my dad are both, both have sickle cell trait. Mm -hmm. So I inherited sickle cell disorder because of their genes. And what it does is it changes the shape of your red blood cells. So whereas mo most people, their red blood cells are round, mine are crescent-shaped or sickle-shaped, hence the name. <laughs> and because they're shaped, they can get caught amongst each other when they're in small capillaries. So as your blood is flowing, they can get stuck together. And also the sickle cells are more sticky as well. So it's difficult for them when they are all clumped together to release. And what this does is it causes my body to have a lot of pain. And this can occur in any part of my body and at any time. Having blood transfusions reduces the amount of sickle cells that I have in my blood. The place where I get pain most frequently is my hips. But when I get pains in my long bones and my shins especially, um, it's a lot harder for me to deal with. It's just very intense, um, very painful, very sharp. It's like it's under somewhere and you can't dig it out to deal with it. And it just feels like a gentle hammering that kind of gradually builds up till you just can't take <laughs> anymore. It feels like there's a pressure point and it feels like you're going to snap. <laughs> it's really horrible, but it does feel like you could just snap. <laughs> when I have a bad day, it's, it's very difficult, actually. I tend, I, I just have to, I have to stay at home. Bye, everyone. Bye. At times, especially like during the school um, term, I just, you know, you just think about all the things that are going on, how much you're going to have to catch up on. My average, <laughs> my average school attendance is about 60%. So I'm now two years behind going to uni. And the hardest thing for me is when I'm at home, and I feel really ill, but I can't do my schoolwork at home. And that, I always feel guilty. It's hard to see where everybody else is going and you being held back. Um, that's something that's really difficult to do. I think what I wish everyone to take from me being on this film is just the fact that I, I really want to, to be believed. Um, and that it doesn't look like I have anything wrong with me, but I, I go through a lot. <laughs>